Hello and welcome to a new video clip on my YouTube channel. It's going to be about how to use a programmable mouse with your KiCad software. We all know in design software there are a lot of repetitive tasks that uh, you have to reach to the keyboard to click a couple buttons together or to reach to a certain menu here and there in your software to choose uh, or a sub-menu to choose or an icon to, to reach to that function. If you have a programmable mouse, programmable mouse means a mouse with uh, buttons that you can program them to do whatever you want it. If you have or if you use such a mouse, this will make your life way easier and will make your process really faster. So let's start. My mouse is the G602 from Logitech. I got it uh, last Christmas. Uh, I love it. It was at 39 Canadian dollars. It was a discount. I'm pretty sure it's more expensive. Uh, normal cases and uh, I use it ever since I love that mouse it's uh, it's very comfortable for, for a hand actually now I'm going to click on it and get into it. these are the buttons that are available for me to program so next to the left um, click button there are those two little buttons I'm going to program them one to add a symbol and one to rotate the symbol look uh, uh, the list we're going to do, uh, add a symbol in a schema is A, rotate it is R. The shortcut here is in help, list hotkeys, look, R is to rotate an item and A is to add a symbol. So let's do that. What applies here applies to almost every other mouse. It's just about uh, another brand or another software. It's just you have to use the concept you're using here in, in there. So, I'm going to program this to do add a symbol, which is letter A. Look, letter A is not a command, it's just a letter, it's a key. So, it's not a command in the list of the commands, left window, open, control, whatever. So, it's a key. I go to keys, and I am going to choose letter A. While this is active, I'm going to choose A. Look, that button is called G10 in my mouse, and it's now programmed to do letter A. Let's test. I'm going to KiCad and I'm going to click on G10 and it's open for me to choose a symbol. It's exactly the same when I click on letter A on my keyboard. Listen, I hope you can hear the A click. It opened for me. Yes, I can add my symbol again. I'm going to click on that button G10 on my mouse and I'm going to Add a symbol. Here we go. Click on the left, uh, left click on your mouse, and here is your your item or your symbol. Sorry. Let's program this button to rotate what what uh, a, a symbol. So this is going to be the number is going to be letter R. I go to the list and choose letter R from it, and it's programmed for G11. Look now what happens if I go to this item and choose it and click on G11 look one two three four five six seven I'm not going anywhere I'm not just reaching anything I'm not going to a sub menu I'm not reaching my keyboard to click on R it's it's very simple very easy so let's go use the combination of those two buttons to add a symbol and rotate it I'm going back to my keycad G10 Add a symbol, I'm adding R. Okay, before I click anything, I'm clicking G11. Look, one, two, three, four, five times, whatever. I can zoom, click again. Whenever I'm satisfied, I click on enter or I click the left click on my mouse and we're all good. Again, if I wanted to add a symbol, I click on G10. Here is add a symbol. Let's say I want to add uh, this one, a 4006. Uh, place it wherever I wanted, click, it's done. If I select it again and click on G11, which is our look, it's as simple as this. Or if I want to add a symbol again, click on G10 on my mouse, choose an item, click OK, place, before I place it, G11, it's rotating it, I'm satisfied with uh, this. Uh, enter or left mouse click. 
just one last thing I wanted to show you. What if the sequence you wanted to do is not available in, in here? What if I want to do control N for a new project? A new pro you use control N once in a project you created, but uh, what if, look, I don't have control N here. So what you do is go to macros I, and create a macro. Macro is a little program to, 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 to do a, a, um, uh, a specific fun uh, function. So I, I'm creating, just let's, before we do anything, let's delete what we have here. Okay, I'm creating a new macro and, and create, I'm naming it new project. Okay, look, uh, it's not repeating. When I click on that mouse button once, it is going to be just once, right? Start, I'm recording it, it's control. While I'm clicking on control, I'm pressing N. It's control N, stop recording, and save. Look, now I'm going to assign this button, this macro, look. G7 now is a new project. Let me go to KiCad and in the main menu and I'm going to press the G7. Here you go, a new project. Again, going to press G7, create a new project. That's as simple as this. I hope this video will make your life easier when you use your programmable mouse. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me a like if you like it. Thank you.